Today's video is gonna be a bit of a surprise. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the vlog. I'm flying down to Los Angeles, California today to take delivery of my new supercar. This is not the hypercar, this is not the JDM car. I never imagined in a million years I would be able to own this car and a Lamborghini Aventador, two of my favorite cars of all time. The build we're gonna do on this car, boys, is gonna be next level. I filmed one of these cars several years ago. It was one of my first viral videos, and that's what we're gonna be building here in a couple of months. I cannot wait. So, Nick is presumably getting ready. I'm not really sure. He's taking me to the airport, uh, and we're headed down to Los Angeles, California. I am very appreciative of Burlacker taking me to the airport. He set an alarm clock, he woke up early, but why are his dirty socks right there? Uh, yeah. This is my plea, if there is anybody Anybody who wants to buy Burlacker's limo, no, send no, no, him an no. email. I got some emails already. Oh, really? Did you sell it? Like, you sold it? I try my best to maintain honesty and integrity. You're not gonna pass him, bro. No, Don't no, pass no, a tug I, back. No. This urban outlaw, bro, your tent is way too dark. He's slowing down. He knows that you're guilty. I didn't do anything. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Long Beach. Place your basic belts fast and I'll carry an animal stove. Then a plane is parked in the gate, you just caught And just like that, welcome here to Los Angeles, California. I'm not buying the hypercar today. Please don't be disappointed. I'm searching every minute of every single day trying to find this hypercar. It's exhausting. They didn't build that many of these cars. There's not that many for sale at any given moment in time. And what's available for sale right now, I don't really like. And I don't want to just go buy a car just to prove the doubters wrong, just to prove that yes, indeed, I'm buying a hypercar. Like, I want this to be the right car. So I'm trying to be patient, and I hope you guys can be patient. This car does not replace the hypercar. This car is to sit alongside the hypercar someday. So we're headed off to JP Logistics in Sun Valley, California. My Uber should be here in about five minutes or so. This car is going to be sick. Like, I am so excited. One of my all-time favorite supercars from... Ferrari. Ferrari. Yeah, it's a Ferrari. It's a Ferrari. It's a Ferrari. You're going to see it in like 10 seconds anyways. Here we go, boys. Ladies and gentlemen, the new ride has arrived from JP Logistics. There's just no day more exciting than delivery day. Nobody is going to expect this car. Absolutely. Oh, I cannot wait. On the 27th of July, 2020, there it is, boys. The Ferrari 458 Spider finished in triple black. I still cannot believe that I own a 458 Spider and a Lamborghini Aventador. Massive shout out to my boys over here at JP Logistics. If you guys have a cool car and you need it transported, they are the best in the business. This car is pretty much stock. It does have lowering springs. It has a stock exhaust, so it doesn't sound bad. It's a 4.5 liter V8. It's gonna sound amazing soon, someday, very soon. That black paint looks so, so good under this California sun. Are you kidding me? This is the first proper convertible that I've ever owned. The Corvette, my Lotus, you can take the hard top off. This actually has a proper retractable hard top. I realize I said the 27th of July. It's actually the 24th of July. In my excitement, in my haste, I said the wrong date. That Ferrari looks so sick. Oh, it's a good day. This is the first time I've ever owned the famed red Ferrari key. The 430 Challenge, you just get a steering wheel. Ladies and gentlemen, that's right, boys, that's right. The 2013 triple black Ferrari 458 Spider. This is one of my all-time favorite Ferraris. Naturally aspirated V8. This car sounds like a vacuum right now because it's stock, but don't worry. We're going to be straight piping it soon. The build we're going to do on this car is going to be absolutely legendary. I'm already talking to the boys in Japan. Girth Nation, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the vlog. We're gonna need race mode and go! <laughs> and go! Red light, red light! Red light, okay, go again! <laughs> I need to get some sunscreen on ASAP. My Utah baby skin cannot handle California. I'm starting to understand why there's so many Ferrari spiders here in California. It's absolutely gorgeous. There's not a cloud in the sky, 85 degrees. You have palm trees everywhere, and this V8 without the top sounds so, so good. So it's a 2013 Spider. It has 19,000 miles on it. I'm gonna share the price that I paid for it at the end of today's video. So stick around. I know, I know, I snaked you, I snaked you. But the price was incredible. And on that bombshell, I'm excited to announce today's video has been sponsored by Auto Tempest. Boys, without the help of Auto Tempest, there is no way I would have found this car because it was for sale at a Honda dealer. I wanna show you guys how I used Auto Tempest to find my 458 Spider. I bought close to 30 cars in my life and the number one way to get a great deal on a used car is to price shop. And Auto Tempest is the number one price shopping tool on the internet. Let me share with you guys how I found this car so you guys can recreate the magic and find your own dream car on Auto Tempest. We're here on the Auto Tempest homepage. We're gonna select Ferrari, select 458, 
for myself personally, I was willing to travel anywhere in the country for the right car, we're gonna hit search. Auto Tempest is going to instantly pull in hundreds of results of all the Ferrari 458 Italias and Spiders for sale on all the major classified websites. This is how you price shop, seeing every single car for sale and directly comparing and contrasting. Like, check this out. We have this white 458, it's a 2011 for 165 with 9,000 miles on it. This black coupe, almost the same car, almost the same miles for 188. Like this white car is such a better deal. This is how you price shop boys, directly comparing every single car for sale in the country. That's going to ensure you get a great deal. Auto Tempest makes it so easy to gauge the market value of a car, let you know if you're getting a great deal like I did or if you're overpaying. I would not have found this car without their help. This wasn't the cheapest 458 Spider in the country, but it was without a doubt the best deal on a 458 Spider in the country. And now it's in my garage, thanks to Auto Tempest. Next time you're looking for your dream car, check them out, tell them I sent you, check out the link below to autotempest.com. Quick odometer check, 19,158 miles. Redline is 9,000 RPMs. We're gonna pop it into race mode right there. That opens up the exhaust valves. We're gonna push the suspension button. That makes the suspension much softer. Obviously my back is getting old. My baby skin has been burned so much too. I'm gonna have to get some sunscreen in this car ASAP. 458 Spider, I love the interior. All the AC controls, everything is just so driver focused. I like the yellow tachometer as well. Okay, so we're headed to Crazy Mike's house and the Koenigsegg Phoenix. Look at the color on that 7 Series. It looks like a green Lambo. And just like that, we have arrived to Crazy Mike's house. You guys know these cars. The Koenigsegg and the Wider Roadster are in there. Let's see. We'll park right here. You guys know where we're at. We're just going to take a little look-see inside. Oh my goodness, I love this garage. The lighting is absolutely incredible. We have the Wyra Roadster, the Agera RS Phoenix, and of course the straight piped Pagani Wyra BC. The last time we were here, this Wyra did not have straight pipes, and now it does. So, oh my goodness. Wait for it, wait for it, let it prime. Let it, that is so sick. time that is wow okay <laughs> okay we got it we got to cut out that carbon fiber is just listening are you kidding me you guys remember i drove this car like a week ago okay maybe not that's got two turbos. That's got two more than us. V12, two V12s. Come on, Gordon, hit it. <laughs> a couple interesting details on the 458 Spider. There's a button that says open right here. You push it and it opens the glove box. Also the blinkers on the steering wheel, I hate them. Like you push them and they, they work, but sometimes they don't work and, and other times you leave them on and you're that guy driving down the highway in a Ferrari with the blinkers on. Gordon's Mercedes is so terrifying. Oh my gosh, that's ridiculous. Are you kidding me? That's a $12,000 custom exhaust in a 1994 Mercedes Benz. Oh goodness. The Mercedes gets more attention than the Ferrari. That is so funny. So this car I think cost Gordon three or four thousand dollars. He got a custom $12,000 exhaust out of Japan and now the car sounds like a Zonda. <laughs> White Wheel Nation, that's ridiculous. Those are like 26s. That's properly sick right there. Liberty Walk Huracan. I think I'm gonna Liberty Walk the 458. I said it, I'm Whoa. pretty sure. What is going on? There's like speed tail wheels. Whoa. Okay, okay, I see a Beverly Hills. We got a Snorkel 600 LT. Not bad. That color is so sick. I dig that. What do you guys think? Do we go with the V2 Liberty Walk kit or the new silhouette Liberty Walk kit? Look at the color palette on that colon and that's, oh, oh, hello, hello. And that Huracan is so sick, sweet baby Madeline. On the Ferrari steering wheel, you have the different driving modes. We're gonna pop it there into race mode. The exhaust valves open up, it sounds so much better. Now we're gonna drop it into sport. You see how it gets quiet? Race mode, sport, race, sport. Wait, I said that opposite. Oh, come on. 
Gord Gordon is ruining my clip right now. I'm trying to film something important, I'm trying to teach you guys about race mode and sport mode. The true OGs of the OGs will remember at SEMA like eight or nine years ago, I filmed a Ferrari 458 Liberty Walk. It got rear-ended by a Jeep Wrangler, one of the first viral videos that I ever filmed. That car left such an impression on me. It was the coolest car at SEMA, and it got in an accident leaving SEMA. It's it crazy, crazy, crazy. The video got like a million views in 24 hours, which at the time was like unheard of in the automotive community. Really, really cool. So I don't know, it'd be kind of sort of cool to recreate that car maybe. I don't know if I could cut up a Ferrari. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. So I paid $165,000 for this car, 19,000 miles on it. It's in perfect condition. We are going to be doing some crazy things. I hope you guys are excited. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did like squad, be sure to smash that like button. But just like that, this vlog is over. Adam. <laughs>